Okay, YouTube, this is my next project. I already uh, been doing the body work with one of my buddies. I already did uh, the one frame here. Probably can't really see. Maybe if I go like this. Cut that part off, redid the frame. Now I'm doing this side. This side here is all rotted away here. We're gonna cut that off somewhere around here. And redo that one too. And I also gotta redo this lovely mess. Yeah. But anyways, I've been taking uh, these flat bars here. And I've been welding them to make a tubing. I'm gonna cut that up to uh, make the bend in it and everything else, just like a uh, car here. Just like uh, I did for the the other side. So, anyways, we'll uh, keep you updated. Okay, we cut the tubing off, the frame, and now I gotta try to duplicate that tubing into this one. That's the part I cut off, and that's the one I made, and now I gotta try and make it match. So I'm thinking I'm gonna cut it just like I did with the other one, make a whole bunch of cuts, bend it, re-weld it and try and retake this bushing out and yeah so all right we'll see you in a bit oh yeah i cut a whole bunch of lines in my uh tubing and uh we're gonna try and bend it to make it the same shape as that one so i don't know if i'm gonna try i don't know i don't have a tripod or nothing so bear with me okay so i cut a bunch of lines in there and i bent it now I'm going to fill that in, weld it up, and as you can see, this one there, yeah, it's longer, but I'll have to cut it. See, same angle and everything. So, now I'm going to weld the rod up, cut that, and measure for my bushing, put the bushing in. And then all I have to do is uh, put that on. So stay tuned. Okay, well, this is what I got done so far. That was that uh, square tubing. I cut it and bent it. And that's the old one. So now I gotta take that bushing and put it into this one. So I'm gonna cut out that bushing, cut a hole, put that in. Then put it on the Jeep and first, oh yeah, I got to fix up the cab corner. The cab corner is all screwed up under here where the cab mount was. Sorry, you can't really see, but there's nothing left here. So I'll fix that and I'll get back to you. Okay. So I was able to cut out the bushing out of there clean it up and put it back into this one. So now all I have to do is grind that and polish that flush and stick it on the Jeep. Oh no, I gotta rebuild that cab corner. But anyways, I had enough, I'm gonna call it. Okay. Again. So I was able to cut out the bushing out of there, clean it up, and put it back into this one. So, now all I have to do is grind that and polish that flush, 
and stick it on the Jeep. Oh no, I gotta rebuild that cab corner. But anyways, I don't know, I'm gonna call it a day. All right, thanks for watching. Okay, I uh, didn't show you this part, but I fixed this part. I did the frame on this side. I don't know if you can see well or not, but there you go. So I'm gonna do the same thing over there with this piece. That's what I ended up taking. So, this is what I've got. So I gotta put that piece up in here and then build a plate and then put my cab mount and then I can put my frame on and then I can change the spring which I've already done on that side. But I got got to get new bushings for it because the kit didn't include bushings for it. So I got the, the new spring here. All new springs all the way around. Yay. Anyways, stay tuned. Okay, I got it all in and I got it plated and everything. All I got left is finish up the cab corner and go to the store and get some bushings and change the spring on the one side, but this is what it looks like. Uh, my welder gave out on me, so I have to use this little dinky welder, but it worked. It's gonna hold. It's not pretty, but oh well. I'm gonna put a little plate in there, square that off, drill a hole for my cab mount, and this side should be done. So, yeah. Alrighty.